So it's been a few months since the transition from Exoterra to Reptile 1 enclosures, and I'm really happy with the change. Overall, I prefer the design and build of the Reptile 1 glass terrariums, but there's just one aspect that I don't like about them, and that's the lock on the doors. I only need the enclosure doors to be escape proof for reptiles, so I find the lock and key a bit unnecessary. I don't like how it sticks out from the front of the enclosure, and they're just awkward to open and close sometimes, especially if you're using one hand. The lock of one of the enclosures that I got second hand started playing up as well. It keeps getting stuck and it's really hard to turn. I checked with my reptile stores, and they don't do replacement parts for reptile ones. So I decided to 3D print a new lock for them all. My plan is to design a latch that is the same size as the original locks, but doesn't need a key to open. I'm not an engineer, so the designing process took some time, and I printed quite a few prototypes before finally getting the design right. Instead of using traditional springs, I decided to try and design a compliant spring. By doing this, I don't have to purposely buy springs, and it also reduces the part count. So hopefully that will make the lock last longer without any mechanical failure. With each design upgrade, I tried to reduce the profile of the lock to make it as thin as possible, but still structurally sound. I fine-tuned the thickness of the spring to give me a good balance between flexibility and strength. I also tried to minimize the time and material it takes to print. The final product is printed with ABS plastic. It is easy to assemble, but does require some super glue to put it all together. Each lock is made out of four parts, and it takes less than three hours to print all the parts for one lock. The total cost of printing each lock is only about $2. But the most important thing is that this solved all the problems I had with the original blocks. It is so easy to use, even with one hand. It also makes a very satisfying click, so that's a bonus. 